return. Once you get at that so far, there is no return. That's what happened to many of our brothers and sisters today. Uh, where they will be lost in the sin of this world. In other words, if we don't throw out that lifeline, I'm talking about, if we don't have a prayer life and pray for those that's uh, lost right now, uh, soon uh, uh, there will be a season uh, of rescue that they have passed over them. There are times for everything. And if you're not careful, you might miss that time. Can you say amen now? Because the songwriter says it so well. It says, soon will the season of rescue be over. Soon will, will they drift from eternity shore. Haste then, my brothers, no time for delay. But throw out that lifeline and save them today. This is the calling of the church of God today. In other words, that's why Satan is trying uh, hard to take prayer out of everything. Yeah. He knows there's power in prayer. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I, when I'm down, I can just call the name of Jesus. Yeah. And he will pick me back up. Yeah. Now, I did not, I did not appoint this church to be a praying church. That was not me, but it was by the Almighty God and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, what a blessing to be able to have that lifeline in our life. Can we say amen to that? But we must remember how, how people have, have people ever let you down. I say, have people ever let you down? Well, that curse belongs in the same category as is water wet. But what about this question? Has God ever let you down? Well, before you answer that question, let's put it another put it another way. Have you ever felt that God didn't keep his word? Have you wondered, even, even complained that he didn't come through in the way you thought he should? We know that God has promised to protect and care for his children. We are his children. He has promised to make us strong, to fill our hearts with joy, and to give us peace. God has promised to answer our prayer. Yet at times, those promises seem empty. Somebody here know what I'm talking about. Our prayers for the rebellious child sometimes seem to go on national. You pray for that child, but see, like the more you pray for them, full of wisdom God they get. Inflation, bills, nor at our paycheck. Lord, see, like the harder you work, less money you have to spend. Someone close to us dies, and we don't know why. Neighborhood crimes seem to get worse. Blacks killing blacks. Terrorists plague the world. And Jesus hadn't returned to make things right. Joy and peace seemed like a dream. The Bible tells us, though, that the Lord is trustworthy in all of his promises and faithful in all his do, all that he does. Yeah. Psalm 145, 13. What happened to all the promises that God had made? Perhaps we uh, misunderstood or maybe we just uh, expected too much from God. While we try to figure out how God is going to answer our prayers and fulfill His promises, He is calmly and powerfully working out His plan behind the scenes and in ways and for the reason that we may not comprehend ourselves. It should not surprise us that in Isaiah 55, the Lord describes our inability to understand His method. He said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways declare the Lord. He says, the heaven is higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. Although his reason may elude us, and his method may surprise us, God always fulfills his promise. As the Apostle Paul said, for the fullness of God is wider than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than the human strength. We serve a God that can do anything but fail. Amen. We talk about the crystal lifeline now. Yeah. And don't forget that lifeline is prayer. Yeah. When man is cut loose from fellowship with God, he begins to die spiritually. Yeah. There are many things that ensure union and fellowship with God. Uh, we call these the crystal lifeline. Yeah. Perhaps the most effective of these is prayer. Yeah. Let me hear somebody say prayer. What is prayer? Well, prayer is just having a conversation with God. 
And prayer is just talking to God like you talk with each other. Yeah. He is your father. He said, my father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. It may be a child saying in prayer. You remember what you pray to say has and memorize when you were a little child? Is that when I lay me down to sleep, yeah. pray the Lord my soul may keep. Yeah. This prayer summons the angel to watch over that little child when they pray. Yeah. Prayer for some and is simply asking God for some favor of blessing. Yeah. I believe too often we are asking instead of thanking God. Oh, yeah, thank for what he already done. Hallelujah. He already had did everything he needed to do when he died on that cross. Amen. I have to keep reminding myself that when he died and said it was finished, he meant that it was finished. Yeah. Satan has no power over you and I. Yeah. Because I read in the word of God where he went down and took the yeah. keys from that devil. Yeah. He said I had the keys of heaven and hell yeah. in my hand. Yeah. So if God got the keys, yeah. nobody can get them out of his hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah prayer for others is crying and weeping before the altar of God. Amen. Psalm 26, 5, that this soul in tears shall reap in joy. Yes. Yeah, you receive joy by coming to the house of God. Yes. You receive joy by fellowshipping together with each other. Yes. Other example to Isaiah praying in the temple. Yeah, because he needed to know how to pray. Uh, we cannot serve God unless we have an open communication with yes. God. You can't be like the public and just say that. Thank and say, I'm glad I'm not like that person. I pay my tithe. I don't, God don't care what you do doing that stuff. He wants your heart to be right with Him. Yeah. Fall down, humble yourself before God. Say, so God, I'm not even worthy to talk to you. Yeah. But have mercy on my sin sick show. Yeah, we must pray the way that Jesus taught the disciples to pray. Amen. And that way we have glory in God. Some things I have learned about prayer. God hears a cry from a drunk. I don't know about you. I keep it telling you what happened to me. And I had a praying mother. Yeah, I was a drunk, but I still I would pray before I go to sleep. Sometimes I'd be on my knees praying. So drunk I pass out with my prayer. Wake up still on my knees. But God heard those prayers. God better help me now. Uh, I'm not surprised that he saved my soul while I was sleeping. I must have prayed that night. I don't know. I must have prayed, but if when I woke up the next morning, I was set free, come out of my body. Prayer will set you free. Uh, somebody better shout hallelujah. Yeah, the less you pray, the less you feel the need to pray. Even as a drunk, I felt like I should pray. And I'm so glad I did pray. That, that yeah, yeah, that, 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 that all to do, not, all to not pray a lot, though. Just because a prayer may not move you, Amen. even though it might not sound good to you, God hears that prayer. Yeah. I'm trying to hear you help somebody here. Thank you. God moves on sound. He, he, he moves by what in your heart. He don't move by sound. Yeah. He moves what's in your heart. To when a preacher has been called by the people to become a preacher because they can pray good. You can pray good. You can preach good. But that don't mean you can be a pastor. You can have a heart to love people. Yeah, some of the, some of the best pastors I know, they can't even preach or pray. But they have a heart to love mankind. I don't know about you, but uh, false prophets know how to pray. They know how to preach. Thank you. Yeah, they can tickle your ears and, and not your heart. And it help me, Holy Ghost. I, I'm, I'm trying to take my time this morning. Because that Christian lifeline is missing in the house of God. And not only that, we don't pray to church like we should. Prayer meeting on the Wednesday night should be the largest meeting in the house of God. Right now, you got to beg three or four to come out to pray. Something's wrong, but you don't feel like I'm talking to all of y'all. When you don't feel like you need prayer, something's wrong with your life. You got to pray. Yeah, I can stay home and pray. Yeah, boy, come out and let us. Uh, will somebody help me this morning? Come out and fellowship together. Praise God together. 
Yeah, Coach Jesus knew that would happen. The wife said, when two or three are gathered, I've been the best of them. Yeah, but you need to be like Jacob. Jacob prayed. He went to this place, and he saw this ladder going up and down, but Jacob rushed with God all night long. Jacob said, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. We were saying today, in the way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. That sounds good, but God, I want you to bless me. Give me everything that you have for me. When I'm sick, heal my sick body. When I'm sad, give me joy. When I'm weak, give me strength. Help me, Holy Ghost. I want it all. Yeah, we need to be like the mother of Samuel prayed too. She went to the temple to pray. The priest saw her. She wasn't making no sound. The mouth was just moving. The priest said, you must be drunk, young lady. Hannah said, I'm not drunk. Yeah, Hannah prayed in her heart. Yeah, her lips moved up. No sound. But, it was, but, but she, was, she was not drunk. But she prayed. What? She prayed until her son was born. And when that son called Sam was born, she turned him over to God. A mother's prayer will change your life. Somebody prayed for you, you would not be here this morning. Yeah, I, I, I wish I could hear my mother's prayer again. All of us feeling that would be. The old people knew how to pray. They would get on the ice to see some old people, the knees would be rusty looking. Looked like they hadn't washed them in much. They done stayed on their knees so long, they done got rusty. Talking to the Lord. Uh, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, Jesus talked to God, his Father, also many times. Uh, he prayed on the cross. Uh, Jesus prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what to do. He was being killed, hung. But he asked for forgiveness. Why can't we forgive those that despitefully use us? Why can't we forgive those that scandalize your name? I don't care you spit in my face. I'm still going to forgive you. You can't make me hate you. Yeah, I know too much about God. Because if the world said if I don't forgive you, God will not forgive me. I wish I had somebody here this morning. Yeah, forgive. God will give you. Yeah, but Jesus prayed from God. You must talk to the same God yes. through his son Jesus. Yes, this is our lifeline. Yes. Because we have a, he said, well, your father knows what you had need of even before you asked him. That makes me feel good. Because yes. sometimes I get on my knees, yes. words won't come out of my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. But the words of the Holy Ghost is speaking for you. Yeah. He knows all about you. Yeah. Have you ever been burdened down where you just can't say a thing? Yeah. Just say that. Joy will come to your heart. James says to pray earnestly. That's what James James says to pray earnestly. James five seventeen. You see, Elijah was a man substitute like passion, just like we were, and, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth for three years and six months. That is power in prayer. Why do we fail to use it? No prayer. You. They can take prayer out of school, but they can't take it out of me. They can stop me from praying somewhere else, but I'm going to pray anyway. I can pray like Hannah. I don't have to mumble word. I can pray from my heart, and God is going to hear my prayer. But we're in trouble today. I, I talked to some of the chaplains in the army now. They said that they let us pray, but we can't call the name of Jesus. The devil's a liar, and the truth that in it. I'm going to call the name of Jesus until the day I die. Ain't no other help out there. Wonder why there's so much killing. Wonder why there's so much dying. Jesus is not in the vocabulary. Somebody better help me today. Yeah, Jesus talked to God. Why can I talk to God? Yeah, but the highest form of prayer is communion. I'm going to say it again. The highest form of prayer is communion. I can come here and don't have to say a word. I just get on my knees and sit down and just talk to God in my spirit. God will talk back to you. You do know God is still talking. Sometimes we don't hear him by talking to the Lord. Thank him sometimes. Yeah. Communion with God. Dealing with, with someone. 
communion with God, yes, uh, or, in, 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 or in a chain in relationship, uh, having intercourse with God, uh, you, you, you talk, you, you, you talk to listen for God to speak to you through communion. Yes, I'll go about it. Sometimes you best you just sit down, don't say nothing. Yes. Just sit there and think about the goodness of the Lord. Yes. Look back where you came from. Yes. Look back how you used to be, yes. and then think how far you come. Pretty soon you will jump up and shout the hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, God, for bringing me over. Thank you. Yeah, and this is like a man and his wife uh, can come to a relationship. That cannot be expressed in, in mere words. Even so, the child of God can reach a place of communion. And with God that is beyond words, he is then that the Spirit make an intercession for you and I. When Jesus died, yes sir, I'm put in that grave, got up, went to his Father, he sent us a helper, which we call the Holy Ghost. That Holy Ghost is that help us when we go through. No, but every now and then I think we got to shout, Hallelujah! Hallelujah, God! For saving the red sisters out. The old song, the old song suggests, He walks with me, talks with me, tells me I am His own. Yeah, and the joy we shall share as we tell in that others have ever known. I don't know, but you say, I come to the garden alone. While the dew is still on the road. And the voice I hear follow my ear. Yeah. The Son of God is closing. Yeah. Oh yes, I know just a little talk with the Lord yeah. makes everything all right. Yeah. Don't have to talk a long time. Yeah, sometimes I just say, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And sometimes I drop the thank you and say, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, he come to my rescue. Yeah. Uh, somebody better shout hallelujah. That was a story of Joseph Shriver, bride, drowned the day just before them to get married. And he sat down and wrote this song. Oh, what peace we often forfeit, oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Hallelujah, God. There's power in prayer. We talk about the Christian lifeline. The lifeline is through prayer. If you're down, he'll pick you back up. You said he'll give you joy. First, he'll give you water. We, he'll give you strength. Somebody better help me now. That's why I sing that song. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There is a place of fountain. Free your own healing stream. Flows from Calvary Mountain. In the cross, in the cross. Be my glory ever. Till the rapture so fine. Let's be on the river. I don't know about you, but I'm talking about the cross. The cross is falling, but when Christ get out of my cross, I'm so glad that he came and died. I said, I'm so glad he died for me. My lifeline is Jesus all by himself. And when I'm in, when things don't go right, I don't complain. I have a testimony. I said, I have a testimony. When God was in the words of God, he'll keep you from falling. Should have been but the Lord took me up. Wrote my name in the land of the life. Is he all right, church? 
Christian life flat. The Christian life flat. Line is your prayer life. Keep the line open. Throw it out every now and then. And bring somebody into the shore. Line. The Christian life flat. You need to learn how to pray. As Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be that name. The name that is above every name. May we stand to our feet, please. Remember, you have a lifeline. You carry it with you wherever you go. A lifeline is prayer. Throw it out. Because we got too many young men and women drifting too far from the eternal shores. If you drift so far out, you can't get back in. So now it's praying time. As the men sing, there might be someone here that wish to give their life to God now. I'll take your hand. But you must give your heart to God. Is there one here today? All I have to do is come. He will receive you just as you are. that you have given us the privilege of using your name in the time of trouble. Thank you, Father God, because when we call on that name, demons flee, diseases dry up. So we thank you. As the often said, the Holy Supper is kept indeed. Folks, so we share with another's need. May the grace of the Lord say with Jesus Christ and the love of God communion with the Holy Spirit. Rest, rule, and bind with us all forevermore. And be all the saints pray the same.